everyone, I'm Elena and welcome to Makeup Fabulousness. Today I'm going to be doing a special bold and bronze tutorial featuring bronzers and bold eyeshadows. I'm basing it off of um, this eyeshadow palette by Wet n Wild and this bronzing palette by e.l.f. It's a very um, light look for summer but you still get that bold impact on your eyes. There's no eyeliner needed for this, and I thought it was a great way to experiment with color. So, um, if this color of lipstick is a little dark, I do have an alternative. Both are by M Milani Metallics. Uh, the one that I'm wearing is Automatic Touch, and I think it's Automatic Touch. Let me see. Uh, no, this one is materialistic, actually, <laughs> and um, the other one will be chromatic addict. So let's get started. But just because um, I'm trying to get it so that it has a nice, uh, smooth finish. So then I'm going to take this uh, contouring powder in Dolce de Leche and just use that as a gentle highlight with this tiny little... Um, brush under the eyes. Also make it easier to clean up if I have any fallout. Um, this Wet n Wild eyeshadow has incredible pigmentation, but it is also notorious for fallout. So now that I'm primed and ready to go, I'm going to start with my eyes. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this orange right here, and I'm going to take a brush, um, a fluffy brush, because I don't want this to be a heavy, heavy um, color. I want this to be more of a wash. And here, this should work fine. I'm going to take this and kind of go over my eyelid or my brow bone and just kind of get it in there. But you want it to be a nice wash where it's a little bit lighter on the inside and then you can do it bolder on the outside. The important thing is to have, you want a little bit of pop, but you don't want it to be like, oh wow, she's all eyeshadow. <laughs> then what I'm gonna do is take this blue and, or actually, I take that back. I need to do my transition color. So I'm going to, where is it? Take this elf color. It's a nice matte. And just take a small brush. This concealer brush should work good. This is a little bit stiffer of a brush. And, but since it's dry and I haven't used it for concealer, I'm just going to use it to um, basically do my transition color in the crease. And the nice thing about using a matte bronzer is that it'll blend in with the shadows because it essentially gives you a shadow. Now I'm going to get back to the elf. <laughs> and I'm going to um, take this blue and I'm going to use my C brush for this so I can really pack it in. And just use very little. Um, I really like the C brush because it really adds on the color. But because it's so large, I'm going to work backwards. So I'm going to do the inner third of the eye and just get it started and lightly work with it. And see, it gives you a, a good start. Like I said, these uh, these colors are super pigmented, so you really do need to work with a light hand in order to get it the way you want it. And this is definitely, definitely by trial and error. Okay, that's good. And I guess you don't want to over blend. So let me get the other eye. See, as you can see, if you're not careful, you will overblend. So, just want to add in a little bit more. 
pull out the excess. You can tap it off too, but these are shallow pans, so I just blow it off. With, and these are going to be washed afterwards, so. Okay. Make sure. Now, I really enjoy the pig I'm really enjoying the pigmentation. And you may want to even have a Kleenex um, underneath to catch the fallout because they are so pigmented. So now I'm going to take a smaller brush. I'm going to use this little contour brush by Elf. And what I'm going to do is do the, not the center of my eye, but like the part that's right between the center and the outside. And just brush in this green. I like this contour brush because even though it's for contouring, it gives you nice um, controlled color. And you can just pat it on even though it's round. And just make sure you blend it with where you put your um, transition color. I'm going to leave an opening for the um, pop of color as well. And just make sure it's blended down to the lash line. All right. Next, what I'm going to do is take a little um, padded brush. Um, well, I can't remember what type of brush this is, but it's dense and it's um, to control the color. So what I'm going to do is take this and just gently put on the eyeshadow for the purple and then put that in my outer corner. And I'm just going to line it up with the green. Blending will be really fun. <laughs> And let's get the other side. Now this green went a little bit farther over. What I love about this is that it really, um, the colors blend into each other well, but you can still see the differentiations. So it's not like you're getting a whole big mess. You just have to, it's just basically how you apply. And there will be some layering. <laughs> now, I'm going to take this angle brush. Where are you? And just blend in the purple a little bit more. This is a little fluffier. So it'll work well for blending. And try not to go too far down because you want to keep that little line so that you can work with it. And if you want to blend it into the orange of your highlight, your brow bone, you can do that. This one is a little bit um, more green than purple, so I gotta balance this out. Just remember, it takes a little practice because these colors are so bold, so don't get frustrated. Okay, good. Oops. Um, just dropped one, which I hate when I do that. I'm going to take my friend the contour brush <laughs> and um, finally put the pop color in, which is this bright yellow right here. So I'm just going to swirl it and you can tap or just blow on it gently and get where you have that little opening. And as you can see, it doesn't take a lot. Okay. 
covers really well. And it gives you a kaleidoscopic effect, which is kind of cool. Because summer is about experimenting, having fun, and loving color. <laughs> At least that's what I like to say. Can't wear this to work, but for a day where you're just kind of carefree, or you want to experiment, or you want to have a fun night at the beach, well, not really at the beach, but like a beach party or something, this is great. And something you need an experiment for a day. So now that we have the top done, I wanted to um, echo it on the bottom. So I'm going to take my precision brush. Actually, that's a smudge brush. Here's a precision brush, and I'm going to take the turquoise. It works if you tap it too. It's just something I'm used to always blowing. And then you're going to just take it slightly underneath and near where you have the turquoise under the eye. And you basically take it to the other side. Since this turquoise is so um, pigmented, you don't need a whole lot. And because these colors are so pigmented, you really don't need liner because they define the eyes. It's just that you have to use a light touch. I'm just going to give it a little bit more. Just so this shows up. Okay, now I'm going to take, even though I'm not going to do it exactly like the same, what I'm going to do is take the purple, and where I stopped with the blue, I'm just going to match it up from there, and just line it underneath. So, it'll continue the kaleidoscopic effect, but it won't be too much color. And if you, I have been trying this, like this is my second or third time doing it, because either I've had technical difficulties, or the camera just was not, or, um, or one thing worked and the other one didn't. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just take a little bit more powder and just Dab it underneath just to clean up the lines a little bit. Nothing is ever given up. And then one more thing I want to do, the corners. So we don't want to ignore the corners. So I'm going to take this precision brush again, dab it. I always have to blow it off anyways because it gets all over. And just get the corner of my eyes. Now, because I started out with the turquoise, the yellow actually gives it a little tinge of green. So you want to really work that in the corners. But it really works, I think because it's not too obvious. And then it's time for mascara. I love this Essence False Lash. The only thing is, it is prone to clumping. So what I like to do is take a lash comb and it'll get the clumps out and give you better definition. You can find lash combs anywhere and they usually come with matching brushes. Where are they? This one's from San Sonia Kashuk and here's the comb and here's the brush. So the brush is nice for your brows and the lash comb really lifts. And if you get right in at the base and just kind of like 
just gently, um, gently move it. Basically, um, you know I say basically a lot, guys. It's the clump, see? And you don't mess up your mascara. Now for this little part that I got, I'm just going to take a little piece of the uh, cleansing cloth and just wipe it off. I know you can wait for it to flake. I don't have the time for that today. All right, now it's time to um, do the face. So what I'm going to do is take work from the top down. So I'm going to take this highlighter by e.l.f. and I'm just going to use the lightest color with my highlight brush and just get under the cheeks. I'm not a big tip of the nose person, guys. And just get a little bit across the forehead. Okay, now for bronzing. So this is very similar to a buffing brush, or you can use just a really fluffy brush. So what I'm gonna do is take this dark matte color and get the side to get my bronze on and it contours at the same time. And you can brush down to the neck. Now you want to glow. So if I do it like this, I'll just be all matte. So I'm going to take this color right here and then brush right over. It'll be right as a contour but it'll still give us a little bit of glow. And just go over lightly where you put the mat. It'll make it more dimensional. Under the jaw and down the neck. Now I'm gonna take this lighter bronze and just use it as a blush. As you can see, it's very sparkly, so it'll give you glimmer. And why I'm choosing not a lot of color is because you can wear blonde, bronzer, not blonzer, <laughs> that's kind of funny, um, as a blush, and it'll still give you color, but it's not going to distract. Finally, I'm going to do the lipstick. Now I'm using the dark one, which is materialistic. I love this color. I've worn it quite a bit. What I like about this is you get a lot of color with the eyeshadow. But since the lipstick is dark yet subdued, you still it still balances out. So this is your look. As you can see, you have a nice glow and it's bronzy and you get that pop of color. Now, for some of you, this might be too dark. So wait a second, I have another color. And another thing is, if you have this, um, the eyes, you can blend them out, but I kind of decided not to blend ultra. I just was more about focusing as spot colors so that they would actually stand out. But you can always take a light blush in, or a light brush and slightly blend it out if you want less defined color. So for all of you guys who like the lighter color, this is one that is very underrated. It's Chromatic Addict. I'll put this on for you. Now some of you may wear this as a topper. I think this is a great way because it's a very pale beach, but it, you know, the, all the nude, you can always wear a, like a nude underneath it, or you can just, I don't know, I like it the way it looks. Kind of gives you, it kind of reminds me of the 60s look, but... <laughs> As you can see, now it's, it's less compete, it's not as dramatic, blends in with your blush 
in bronzer more and your eyes stand out. So it's really a matter of personal preference. So if you'd like to see, there we are, um, that's the tutorial. If you'd like to see more of this, uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up or hit subscribe. And as always, I love to hear from you guys. Okay, so that's the tutorial. Thank you very much. I will have everything linked down, down below in the description box. And if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, um, give me a thumbs up or just hit subscribe. I'd like to thank all my subscribers. I read each and every one of your comments. And um, I look forward to connecting with you. One of the reasons I did this was because I've always been on the shy side. So this kind of pushes me out of my comfort level. Um, so thank you all. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>